Hey guys. Well, today I'm going to give you another Bat Avenue story. Today I'm going to give you a story about Frankie Ganji and Louis Tuzio. Now, back in the day when I was growing up, <clears throat> everybody was a tough guy and a lot of guys were killers. So, and you knew who the killers were and you knew who the tough guys were. But a lot of guys want to go with their hands in the neighborhood. But what they did was they used a gun. So today I got the story of Louis Tuzio and Frankie Ganji having a fist fight. You're going to enjoy this, okay? Frank Ganji. Frank Ganji was Tommy Karate's, one of his right-hand men. He's actually the one who gave Tommy Karate up, involved in a lot of murders, uh, related to uh, Ross Ganji, a wise guy in the Genovese family. And then we also have Louis Tuzio. Louis Tuzio, I don't have a picture of, but Louis Tuzio, if you remember, is the guy who killed Gus Faraci. Gus Faraci is the guy who killed the DEA agent. So we're going to have a good story to that. So look forward to that. And I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, guys. The streets will never love you back, back, back. Hey guys. Well, today I got another Bad Day Avenue story for you. You're going to like this one. I'm not sure if I told you this one before, but this is a one that <clears throat> happened sometime in the late 80s. <clears throat> Frankie Ganji, as we know, is the one who cooperated on Tommy Karate, involved in a lot of uh, serious crimes. A lot of murders. And when he got picked up, he gave up a lot of information. Now, he thought Tommy Karate was one of his dead friends, a good friend that he would kill for him. So this is the story, okay? Louis Tuzio is a kid from my neighborhood, a guy, okay, that is from 18th Avenue, okay? My neighborhood is all mobbed up. Everyone in my neighborhood wants to become a gangster, okay? You hit a certain age, it's either, you know what, you're going to go to school, become something, maybe a sanitation worker, maybe even a cop, a fire, a fireman, anything. But the majority of people in my neighborhood want to become gangsters. And Louis Tuzio was one of those guys, okay? He made a name for himself. He had a reputation. He had a brother, Nicky, that was a tough guy too. A couple other guys that were around him, Mario and Jimmy, other tough guys. But he was destined to get killed in the street or to become a wise guy. That was his destiny. One night, Louis Tuzio is with a couple of his friends. It could be Jimmy, Mario, anybody. Not sure who he was with. And this is somewhere in there between Bay Parkway, 20th Avenue, in the 80th streets. Uh, Frank Ganji, it's late at night, maybe two in the morning. Louis Tuzio sees Frankie Ganji driving down the street. He's going to meet somebody. A lot of drugs going on at this time. A lot of cocaine in the street. A lot of dope in the street. A lot of drug dealers, people getting killed. This is what's going on in the 80s and 90s. And a lot of people getting high. So Frank Ganji's coming out of someone's house. 
and all of a sudden Louis Tuzio sees Frank Gangi. Now, Louis Tuzio wasn't crazy about Frank Gangi. They knew each other, but they weren't good with each other. You know, Frank Gangi was running on his reputation with Tommy Karate, and Louis Tuzio had his reputation from 18th Avenue growing up in the neighborhood, Brooklyn. So, uh, you know, Louis Tuzio was known as a kickboxer, a tough guy. And uh, Frank Gangi was known as chopping people up, the Prince of Darkness. So words are said, something said, something about drugs or something. And Louis Tuzio throws a swing at Frank Gangi, hits him. Hits him again, bang. Frank Angie uh, throws a punch back. By the time you know it, they're on the floor. Louis Tuzio got the best of Frank Angie, okay? This is word on the street. This is what's going on. Now, there ain't no secrets on the street, okay? After this happens, Frank Angie runs to Tommy Karate. He feels that Tommy Karate is his dear friend. He killed a couple people with Tommy Karate. He tells Tommy Karate what happened with Louis Tuzio, and he tells Tommy, Tommy, would you mind helping me kill Louis Tuzio? Now, Tommy Karate, if he liked you, he liked you and he would help you for sure. You know, that's the word on the street with Tommy, and that was his character, madman but fair. So Tommy tells him, he says, no. He says, I actually like this guy, Louis. I think he's a stand-up guy. He carries himself very well. He's sharp-looking, tough guy. Kidding me? Always respectful every time he sees me. Okay? And I'm very friendly with him. And I know the family, too. So Tommy Karate denies Frank Angie's wish to help him kill Louis Tuzio. And ever since then, Frank Angie had resentment against Tommy Karate for not helping him kill Louis Tuzio. Louis Tuzio made him feel like a heel. You know, he hit him with his hands. Uh, he didn't like that. He wanted to retaliate. Frank Angie wanted to kill him. And that's the reaction right away in the neighborhood. If someone beats you up right away, you know what? You want to kill the person. This is what goes on in the neighborhood. That's why it's so fucked up out there. But uh, that's a bad Avenue story. I hope you guys enjoy that. Louis Tuzio got the best of Frank Angie, and those two guys are both dead today. You know, as we know, Louis Tuzio got double crossed, committed a murder for the family. Gus Faraci, they told him he's going to get straightened out. Eventually, he walked to, into his own death. And that's uh, what the mob does. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this story. With that said, I want to give a shout out to Boston J. Beck. Miss Can't Be Wrong, Live and Let Live, everyone else in the chat. I love you guys. I love you people. Thank you so much for the support. And I'll see you all on my next video. See you guys. Bye, guys. The streets will never make you grow. It's not a seed. It's a gutter. There's no happy endings in this life. So this is my message to you. The streets will never love you back.